Creative Arts and welcome to a new corner of my home for the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo at Home Virtual Scrapbooking Show Weekend. Whew! That's a lot to get through and we have a lot to cover today so we're going to get started right now with the deal. We are starting our presentation with the deal so come on over Jim. We got our 12 by 12 chalkboard paper in which is fabulous and this is a double-sided chalkboard paper 12 by 12 very thick and sturdy so you can put it in a frame and of course you're scrapbooking and if you have chalkboard paper then of course you're going to need a writer so we've got 10 different colors of writers vibrant and neon all very fun to get that wow pop on the black uh, chalkboard paper and then we have a deal for you if you buy five of the 12 by 12 papers and choose five colors, we're gonna give you five more markers. So you get five papers and all 10 markers. What a deal, that's on the website. So put a little heart on there if you love chalk writers. And if you have chalk writers, you probably need an eraser. So we've got that on the website as, as well. And then I just love this guy because I think it's so little and cute. This is actual chalk, there's how little it is. Yes, you can use it on your uh, sidewalk, but it's good for the chalkboard paper too. And then we've got two different ways, um, chalkboard crop stickers, two different other ways to use it. This is a pack of two, and it is sticker, and these are thin, so you can put them on anything, little bottles. And then we've also got the roll, which is 12 by 24 inches, and it's vinyl, so you can go ahead and put it up in your kitchen or wherever you uh, would like to have the chalkboard look. So that is the Chalk It Up series. And then we're gonna switch mediums and move to uh, watercolor. We've got five different styles available right now. Prima's still getting some of their product in. Vintage Pastel, Pastel Dreams, Classics, Decadent Pies, and Tropicals. All bright, beautiful, luscious colors. And then this is what the tin looks like. I um, am working with the Vintage Pastels because I just love those soft colors. So these guys are really fun and easy to work with. Uh, the little uh, color pops out right there and pops back in so you know which color swap and if you have to do a refill, makes it really easy to work with. And then you've got the well right here that you can use um, instead of a palette. Uh, okay, and then that is portable, which is really nice. Beautiful colors. If you happen to purchase one on our website, we're gonna gift you four Sumi brushes. What are Sumi brushes? So these guys are natural hair brushes with a bamboo handle. They are uh, stiff right now because they have starch in them. So they do need to go through water to loosen up, but you can form them back into a point. Great for watercolor, acrylics, any type of medium. And you know, Jim's a model railroader, so he uses it for the fine detail work. And then we also, in addition to the Sumi brushes, we've got our water brush pens. Small, medium, large brush tip. These are the type that have the um, well that you fill with water. Put that back and then go ahead and uh, squeeze a little bit and water will flow and you can use it with your watercolor brushes. And then when I was painting my sample, which I'm gonna show you in just a minute, I used our stamp chamois. So I had my stamp chamois in one hand and my brush in the other. And as I was dipping it, I was kind of cleaning it off right here and going on to my project. I was using the Sumi brushes, but you can do that too. That's a stamp chamois, which we're gonna talk about in just a few minutes. So my project, what did I do? Oh, well, first of all, we've got the watercolor paper uh, on the website too, because you can't do much unless you have watercolor paper. Uh, it's specially bound in order to absorb the water and then pop with whatever you do on it. So I stamped the Julie Nutting Phoebe stamp on here. I used my vintage uh, pastel colors and I started filling her in. And then to add just a soft glittery touch, of course I use my Wink Estella, because I love Wink Estella. And I use clear on uh, her pink uh, area bow and her headband. So I'm not sure if you can see that. And then I took a couple of the other stamps um, off to the side and I was just playing with my color mixes. I overshot that one because I might cut that whole thing out and use it. But I just wanted to show you what some of the colors schemes look like. This is vintage pastel. And then I also took one piece of paper and I took a couple of uh, colors on there and just did a huge wash. I uh, blended a couple of colors because I could use this as a background. I could put a picture on top of it and frame it. I could cut it out. I could do whatever. Plus I just wanted to see what the colors look like because 
I know sometimes we buy stuff just because it's pretty and cute, and I'm guilty of that too. So that would be the watercolor washes. Now, stamp chamois, what is going on with that? Okay, we have two sizes on the website. We have our small, and then we have uh, the larger one in the container, which is nice because you can store it in there, and it stays hydrated. Now, if it dries out, you just run it under water. This one's kind of drying out a little bit. You just run it under water to rehydrate it. We have a couple colors on the website, and I like to cut them up into smaller pieces because I feel like that's more maneuverable to use. And I inked this a little bit ago. What am I gonna do? All I'm doing is taking my stamp chamois, which you can see is getting very thrashed, but it still works. And I just cleaned up my stamp right there. And now my fingers a little bit. Very simple, just water, hydrating your stamp chamois. And then just a quick recap on Julie Nutting. The stamp that I used is Phoebe. And I laid out Becky, Ivy, Madeline because that's going to be my next project that I'm going to be working on in watercoloring. I think Ivy would be fun with these flowers because you can get a lot of different watercolor colors uh, mixture in there. So that's going to be my next project. And then speaking of projects, we got our new farmhouse frames on the website. That's what it looks like uh, plain. I, I started to decorate the edges, which I'm going to show you in a minute. This is my finished one. So I took a gray stamp pad because I wanted a little softer edges versus the black. And I had some leftover four by six journaling cards. I use Prima, but I had some of these and I just, uh, they have fun little sayings. So I cut it out to fit the inside of here. And then I, I adhered three magnets on here, which I'm gonna talk about magnets in a minute. I did use the E6000, so it's sturdy. And I put magnets on the back side of my Prima flowers. Why am I doing this? I turned my flowers into embellishments so they can pop on. I magnetized them because I wanna switch this out. This is gonna go on my desk and I want to maybe have a different look at Christmas time and then have co uh, flowered, colored flowers to match. And then remember when you do embellishments, you wanna do groups, uh, odd groups. So I chose three right here, but you could do five, seven. So think flower arranging. Um, it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye to have it in an odd number. So I could always put a uh, little straggler right here or one up here, but it draws your eye a little bit different. Okay, now how did I ink that? I'm going to grab my finger dauber, which remember it's like olives on your fingers. That would be the finger daubers. So I'm inking it right now. I just inked it up. And then I was gonna go along the corners, but I'm gonna do it right here so you can actually see that show up. But I'm just going along kind of messy right there. <clears throat> you can use your distress inks. You can do anything you want on here. I would take that out to do the inside if I wanted to. Now, that would be the finger daubers, but if I wanted to get ink or chalks or something on the inside of that, how would I do it? The finger daubers too thick. So I can take the teeny tiny daubers and go through this small little spot. That would be the teeny tiny daubers in my hand, ink or what have you, but that allows me, or glue, allows me to get into that spot. Because if you notice, that dauber is gonna be way too thick and I didn't really want that to be uh, bigger right there. I wanted it to be inside. So that is the farmhouse frame, Prima flowers, E6000 uh, finger daubers, and then, that brings us to our magnets one more time. So the ones I used on the frame are the six millimeter, which, uh, excuse me, eight millimeter pack of six, 12 millimeter pack of four, the bar, 25 uh, by two millimeter pack of two, and then we have our rectangle. And then we also, uh, just showing it last time, you know, you can put the uh, magnets on an envelope. Okay, you're gonna look at the website where we transition our table. Part two, all right, basic scrapbooking, what everybody needs in their supply kit. We're gonna start over here with another deal, cardstock. All right, we've got five different uh, flavor packs on the website. These are six by six textured cardstock, 20 pieces, um, 20 pieces in a pack, five different colors and a deal in just a moment. So take a look, we've got bold colors, nice solid basic, we have fruit, which are just vibrant colors. We have pastel. I feel like these are dessert colors. 
and then tropical. I should be having a little fruity drink right now because that looks fun. And then black, white, and gray. Hello, that's kind of the colors of my home. Black, white, and gray. All very basic. Textured is what I like too. Smooth you can use for certain things. Textured is good for other things. The deal, if you buy, well, they're, in, they're available individually, but if you buy all five of them, it's a $20, uh, $20 deal online. So that is excellent. Okay, moving on to another basic that you need to have. We finally got our chipboard in. Uh, eight and a half by 11, two colors, natural as well as white, and then two packs, a six pack and a 25 pack. This is what's called lightweight 22 point uh, chipboard. So you can use it, can go through your die cut machine, but it gives a little bit of stability to whatever type of project you're doing. And then stickers. I heard all of your notes and I got all of your little individual notes and all kinds of things. You want them individually on the website, just like the booth, and I am going to do that for you. Okay, we've got pearls. We have all of our basic bling and pearls on the website individually, but then we do have some deals also, which we're gonna bounce to this deal. And just a heads up, that was my alarm. Uh, we are only going to do this once because I am running out of room, literally. I, my garage is full. I've got so many spaces that I don't have enough room for what's existing stickers because I got more stuff coming in. So this is just a sampling. We have a deal on the website, mystery, mouse mystery uh, sticker box, 40, 40 stickers for 20 bucks. So that is a deal. You're gonna get 40 unique stickers. We're not gonna duplicate on you but you can use it for your scrapbooking, card making, you can share, you can do whatever you want with them. But remember, it's only once and when it's gone, it's gone to make room for new ones. And then rhinestones. Let's talk about rhinestones one more time because I have a little tip for you. All right, you know that we use our pencil, which is called the pencil, and it's compressed bamboo and uh, vegetable oil. So it's kind of green, but it has a pickup quality. You just barely touch and pick that up. Rhinestone sequins, small pieces of paper, uh, picks up nicely, but you tap to release it. And then a uh, little side note, clear rhinestones. So did you know that you can color your clear rhinestones with an alcohol pen? That is right. You guys don't believe me, so I have to show it to you. Sometimes you look at me crazy in the booth. Now, you color the top of it, not the bottom. This is an alcohol marker. It has to be an alcohol marker uh, or your little bottles of alcohol ink, not the other ones. They cannot be laundered either like that uh, because they'll wash out in the, in the laundry. But you can color it using any of your alcohol uh, markers or bottles to match whatever project you're doing. So it works on the loose rhinestones, just showing you there, or if you have sticky back that are uh, the clear uh, or lighter colors as well. All right, you're gonna look at the website one more time. Okay, we're on the last section. We're gonna finish strong. So come on over. We've got dies. I wanna show you a bunch of new dies that showed up um, uh, for us. And then we've got them on the website. So if you're into the park, we've got a lot of the park type of dies. And then of course, you know, us scrapbookers, we're always thinking about our next holiday card, Christmas card. So we've got a couple of snowflakes to fill you in and help you out with that. Okay, vintage art prints. So you guys have seen us at the booth and we know we have a very large collection of vintage art prints. What are these? Some of you have seen them and said, I don't know what to do with them. You can frame them or scrap them. So we're gonna show you how to do both of them right now. So I just wanted to, um, okay, take a look at these guys first. So we've got a bunch of different ones. A vintage art page is actually a dictionary page. They all are range in coloring and then what type of words are actually on that page and my designer has probably over 600 designs and still keeps adding to them. So the book prints are about the most popular. I'm gonna show you guys that. And then we've got a couple of other fun ones. What can you do with them? Of course you can do a Wink of Stella on them, which I love, and I'll show you that in just a minute. And then we have some fun and sassy prints too because you know that's just how we ladies are. All right, and then if you were in the booth this year, which we only did a couple of shows, but this would have been our sample board. So um, what did I do? I took two 12 by 12 papers and I uh, just trimmed them down so that I could obviously match with whatever print I was doing. And then I've got Winka Stella in her hair and then a little bit of the books. 
And then over here, I did the same thing and took two just coordinating papers that I wanted to have this pop with. I used the pink Winka Stella on her shoes and her uh, little bow, so that would pop just a little bit more. And then I was gonna show you guys these as well. So, you know, scrapbooking is our happy place, some coordinating fun papers, and then best memories with some of our friends. So this is one way of scrapbooking uh, with them. They will fit into your uh, scrapbooks and then you can also frame them. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to frame them. So this guy is, uh, well, this frame is 11 by 16. So what I did, I wanted the whole print to show, so I laid it on top of the mat so you actually get to see the whole outline of the print uh, because the page is really pretty. But you can go ahead and trim it up as well and then Jim's gonna back up slowly and take a look at that. So what I did is took my print and laid it over the frame so you could see it. And people really don't know until you get really close to see that it's actually on the top. Or you can obviously take it and go around like this, but sometimes you have to trim it or it uh, cuts part of the picture. So either way, it just depends on how you would like to frame it. Or of course you can frame it um, with 12 by 12 papers and put it in a 12 by 12 frame as well. And then speaking of 12 by 12, we also have, um, my designer came up with some two two-page layouts. So we've got one right here, that's 2020 stay home quarantine life, and then some of the sayings that happened this year, like no toilet paper, uh, baking bread, which I did a lot of that, and then social distancing, because that's obviously what we had to do. And then she came out with a second one so these are available on the website too. So this is us, family, and all of the spots are large enough to put pictures. So you can obviously on your page, you can put some journaling information right there or bling it up, keep it simple, keep it, keep it calm, if, whatever you would like to do with that. So remember, you can use Winka Stella on them or you can use your teeny tiny daubers to add like a little bit of um, accent with inks or what have you. Okay, we are going to um, have you take a look at our website and our deal one more time. And did you take a notice? He's ready for summer. He's sipping his little fruity drink in his inner, inner tube. He's ready for somebody's pool. So that mouse, he's everywhere. Okay, what is our special? Uh, it is 20% off site-wide, uh, free shipping over $50. Now remember, there's three deals. Mouse Mystery Sticker Box, Chalk It Up Deal, Paper Pad Special. It ends Sunday, July 5th, and please use code PAPER20. And then, oh, that's right, go to Facebook. We just started our business page. Pretty soon we're gonna have short little how-to videos and special deals on that too. So thank you very much, guys. See you next time.